Assalamu alaikum students. This is Farhana Islam, your physics teacher. Today we will start for our final term portion and the first lesson is motion and speed. In here I have prepared some word problems and I am going to discuss these problems with you so that you can understand them better. Speed is what? It is the measure of the distance traveled each second. If you want to tell about the speed of, uh, of any moving object, you have to see the distance it travels and what time it takes to complete the distance. So with the speed, two things are related. One is the distance another one is the time it takes to cover that distance and we use one formula for calculating speed and the formula is speed average speed equals distance travel divided by time taken there are some units that we use for the speed and the units are meter per second and kilometer per hour. If the moving object covers longer distance then we use kilometer per hour and if it travels shorter distance we use millimeter per second. Now let's start one example. <clears throat> A cyclist travels 500 meter in 20 seconds. Calculate her average speed. In this statement it is asking for her average speed. So for calculating average speed, we will use the same formula that is average speed equals distance divided by time. From the statement, it is clear that the cyclist travels 500 meter in 20 seconds. This 500 meter is the distance that she travels and these 20 seconds is the time that she takes. So just put this 500 meter in the place of distance and 20 seconds in the place of time you will get the speed. So what is the speed we got from here? 25 meter per second. The unit that we used in here it is the speed we got from here 25 meter per second. The unit that we used in here it is meter per second. Why? Because the distance it is given in five it is given in meter and the time it is given in second. So we use meter per second. So this is our first word problem that is related to speed. So all the problems, all the word problems, it is not necessary that it will ask, it will ask for, it will ask for average speed. Sometimes you will get, it is asking for the distance and sometimes you will get the, the word problem. In the word problem, it is asking for the time taken. So if the problem is asking for the distance, then we will use this formula. Distance traveled equals average speed times time and if the question if the word problem is asking for time taken we will use this formula distance divided by average speed now I will show you another word problem in here you will get the question is asking about the distance this in this example a girl works at an average speed of 4 meter per second for 40 seconds calculate how far she walked so in this question girl works at an average speed of 4 meter per second that means this 4 meter per second is the speed and these 40 seconds is the time in here it is asking for how far she walked. How far means the distance. So we will use the second formula distance traveled and we will do what we will just 
multiply the average speed with the time. In here, the time that she takes, it was 40 seconds and the average speed for her was 4 meter per second. In this example, it's written a boat is cruising along a river at a speed of 3 meter per second. So this is the speed that we got. Calculate the time it takes the boat to travel a distance of 270 meter. A distance of 270 meter. So this is the distance. The boat travels, the speed is 3 meter per second. The question is asking for to calculate the time. For calculating time, we will use this formula. Time equals distance divided by average speed. In this question, the speed is 3 meter per second and the distance is 270 meter. So let's put all the values in the formula. Time taken equals distance divided by average speed. The distance is 270 meter. Speed is 3 meter per second. So the time the boat will take 90 seconds. If you put 270 and divide it by 3, you will get 90. As it is asking for time, we will use the unit second.